Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. Today from the vault, we have this Mossberg Model 151MB. Now this gun here was made between 1948 and 1954. And back in the day, Mossberg made a ton of 22 target rifles. And that's exactly what this one was. It was designed to be a target rifle. This is one of the cooler ones in my opinion that they've ever produced. It's a semi-automatic, um, long barrel on it, target rifle. Has aperture target sights, but I also have an old weaver scope on here. Uh, the scope's getting kind of hard to see through, but I just can't bring myself to bring it to, to take it off. This gun here was sitting in a sugarcane farmer's barn in South Louisiana for many years, and it was just in absolutely terrible condition. Uh, someone tried their hand at threading the muzzle, did an absolutely terrible job. Um, I haven't brought myself to cut those threads back just yet because it's shooting so good right now uh, that I just typically cover them up with the thread protector for the most part. Um, but I've been doing some restoration stuff on it. I've refinished the stock with a nice hand rubbed oil finish. You're not going to see any of the factory rifles with a stock that nice. Although these rifles were considered to be on the higher end back in the day, they were still quite affordable. Uh, Mossberg used to be known for that. They made some affordable yet very accurate target rifles. Um, this particular one here is one that I've rescued. And uh, of course, if you know anything about me, you've ever talked to me in any extent about firearms you know that I have a soft spot for rescuing old 22s. I'm part of the Firearm Humane Society, if you will. I just, if I see them in a pawn shop, I just can't let it go. I gotta save it. And this is exactly what I did with that, with this one here. Uh, this particular one I actually traded for labor. I did some gunsmithing work for a guy. He said, hey, I have this old 22. I said, you gotta give it to me. It's, I need to save it. So that's exactly what I did. And of course, if you have any questions about this rifle, and if you have one or a variation of this rifle, I'd like to hear about it. So leave a comment down below or give me a call on the tech line. And join us next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.